Hey guys, welcome back. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Eric. I'm back from the wedding break and I have something a little exciting today. The Hacksmith, a fellow content creator on YouTube, invited me for a shop tour this week and this will be the video for that. For those of you not subscribed to The Hacksmith, you can find a link to his channel in the description below. Hope you enjoy the video. Hey guys, I'm the Hacksmith and I'm here with Eric from MakeMe.org and I'm going to give him a tour of Hacksmith Industries. Cool. Awesome. Alright, so this is the shop. This is great man, I love it. Finally made it here to Hacksmith Industries guys, I was looking forward to this for a long time. He invited me a while back but we had to wait for Mother Nature to finish up the winter side of things and uh, now we're here so I'm going to get to look around the shop. Alright, let's take a look. So. Uh, the shop's about uh, 26 by 50 feet deep, that's 1,300 square feet, with 14 foot ceilings. And I've made quite a bit of use of the ceiling space, you got to store everything out of the way so you have lots of room for working on big projects. And the plan is, if you look at the foundation, that can be split up into concrete pads. So the plan is to keep these two main pads always completely free. We're not doing a very good job of that because we're working on the uh, inventable CNC router right now. But the idea is we can always have room for nice big projects or even if we're doing something with a vehicle or something we can bring it in yeah, and yeah. we have lots of room. And then we have all the industrial storage racking up there, solid the port put outside, we make use of that. This, that uh, skid up there is pretty heavy, it's full of hub motors from uh, e-bikes that were left behind in the shop. And the plan with those is eventually to make some Mario Kart style go-karts. Nice. Like really small, fast, super maneuverable. Just haven't had time yet. Alright, and we continue this way. So this is the newest addition to the garage. We just finished this last week. Um, it's the mezzanine. Second mezzanine. Uh, we still need to do a bit more handrails up there. It's a bit yeah. unsafe. Uh, we also call it Darwin's Corner. Well, be careful. <laughs> but the plan with this is, one, we have all this ceiling space. We need more floor space. So we got all the couches up there. Now that's kind of like the raised living room of the shop. Nice. So you have a place to bring people who can sit down and talk about stuff. Now underneath, it's going to be split up into two kind of like work areas. This room will actually be sealed off and it's going to become a uh, welding slash paint room. So we'll have really good ventilation in there and you'll be able to take your project in not worry about getting cancer from all the toxic fumes. Nice. And then out here, we think the CNC router is probably going to go over here. And have some work benches and it'll just be kind of like an enclosed space. Very cool. And in this corner, we have our uh, gym area. So I used to actually be a gymnastics coach. And when I found out I was getting this property, or when I found out I was maybe getting this property, I touched base with the old uh, gymnastics head coach at the uh, club I taught at. And I was like, if you're ever throwing any equipment out, let me know. I might actually have space for it. <laughs> One week later, he's like, there's a whole bunch of stuff by the dumpster. Come grab it before the snow falls. Perfect. This was months before I even had this place, let alone sign the final papers. So I managed to jam one of those crash mats into a small 8x8 eight eight shed in the back of the property I was renting. <laughs> the other crash mat ended up going into the spare bedroom. So basically the floor of the spare bedroom was crash mat. Nice. Um, I got the rope donated from a co-worker who ran a uh, karate dojo. But the problem was the kids kept getting stuck at the top so they decided no more. <laughs> they, they got tired of rescuing the kids. Rescuing the I've had the uh, gymnastics rings for a while. I used to really love it doing uh, rings. Still haven't quite got the iron cross, but I'm hoping now that, now that it's here I can start practicing it again. For sure. And then uh, they were also chucking another pommel horse or vault, so lots of fun stuff. I used to do parkour, so this is trying to keep it alive. Yeah. I might even sure. throw in a rock wall somewhere just because hey. we're going to have a zip line from the top at some point. <laughs> rock wall and a zip line, people. Only here. Alright, so this is going to be the future machine shop, basically. This will be one of the uh, the dirty workshops, I guess you could say. Perfect. There'll be room for a CNC mill in the corner. We've already got a wood lathe, with drill press, all kinds of random stuff like that. Scored this big air compressor at a garage sale for only 50 bucks. Or you kidding? Some assembly required. Eh, well. <laughs> um, that's, that's so we're going to have shop air for the whole thing. And you can't even buy this from a big box store. It's an Atlas Copco, which uh, is a French uh, engineering company. It's I know they're expensive thing. because my work uses them. In my work. It's the real thing. <laughs> Now we have two more rooms. This is the future bathroom. Ah, so perfect. I'm going to be getting a composting toilet because unfortunately I don't have sewage hookup. Um, but we've already got a urinal. We're going to be putting in a shower stall so if you're doing any messy work in the backyard, you can come in here, wash off. Yep. And yeah, 
So there's actually, that goes under the stairs, so that will actually be where the uh, toilet is. It'll be a separate sealed off room. Yep. The water heater will be in there. All the kind of stuff you don't need to see. This guy's shop, there's a urinal. Perfect. And then this is just access to the backyard. Oh, oh very cool. So the great thing about this property is I actually have a bit of land space behind the garage. And so for any of the larger projects that we might be doing, we have a bit of a testing ground. And the best part is my neighbor's also an engineer. And if you look through the tree, there's a giant barn right there. Perfect. He's actually got a small machine shop in there, and he does consulting engineering and whatnot. Excellent. So he's down for doing projects, sharing the space, all kinds of stuff. It's fantastic. And we have a campfire pit. Trailer back there, moving the doom buggy. Perfect. I haven't shown you yet. No. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's head back inside and check out the upstairs. Sure. Got some Iron Man art, of course. Nice. So here we have the mezzanine. Haven't finished all the handrails yet, but it's starting to take shape. I've even got Peter style seating in the back, so <laughs> a little platform out of a door and some two by fours. I didn't see this in the video. <laughs> got, got layers in the whole bit. And just this weekend, we made a 10-foot uh, projector screen, too. So you can watch movies in the shop. Perfect. Very own home theater. It's a bit dusty in here. We're just doing some renos. But this is the future office. Very nice. So we've done some drywall. Uh, it's going to do a hardwood laminate. But there's going to be a big screen there. There's going to be integrated benches in the wall. Big desk over here. So. When we're actually doing some business activities, we can bring clients in here, show off our designs and whatnot. We're also thinking of having a projector screen here and then a little mechanical drop-down box which has a projector in it to blast on the wall. You know, cool. just for fun. Just for now. <laughs> Love the junction boxes. Yeah. Everywhere. Plans for lights everywhere. Yep. You can never have enough help. No, you can't. <laughs> and now over here, we have my pride and joy. A CNC laser cutter. I've actually loaded this up with oh, something nice. just for you. Why don't you go ahead and hit the file button? Hit the file button. Close up. Uh, press the file button harder. All right, and there's there's Eric. Uh, press uh, enter. Stop warning. All right, and then I close the lid. And go ahead and press start. We might do a second pass with the engraving of the outline to give it a, more, a bit more contrast. Because the bamboo is laminated and it's um, different darknesses, okay. sometimes the laser burns more or less. Oh, yeah. so it's kind of hard to get consistent engraving. But um, I've been making these cutting boards uh, and I have my own Etsy store. And, uh, <laughs> rather popular one. Dinner is coming. So cool. So to add a bit more detail to the engraving, we're going to do an outline of the logo. We, right now we just engrave the, the whole thing, and sometimes with the bamboo it doesn't really show up very well. But if you do a nice outline around the edge, it really brings in the contrast. Alright, that's it. That's it. Alright, let's take a look at it. Very cool. What do you think? Thanks, man, so much. That's fantastic. Check it out, guys. Love it. My own custom cutting board or plaque or whatever. <laughs> Check out stufflaser.com. Awesome. .ca. .ca. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much. Yeah, That's no one problem. of the coolest things anyone's ever given me. That's pretty <laughs> awesome. Love it. Thank you. So we got one more thing to show you up here, and that's the attic. It's a bit tricky to go up there, so I think we'll just stick the camera up there. And Sounds I'll, good. I'll give you a bit of an explanation. All right, so this is a pretty big building, which means there's actually a pretty big attic as well. And can't, you got to make use of all the space. Sure do. So this is my own very personal Area 51. If you look over here, we've got 
50 feet deep by about 8 feet wide of storage space. So I use these nice square boxes that my work throws out, and I've got tons of storage space up there. One of the projects I'm planning on working on is making a little remote-controlled forklift that you can then use up there nice. instead of crawling around. <laughs> remote-controlled forklift, so cool. Wait, did we catch that? Home? No, we didn't. This is very cool, guys. we got to catch this. And I love this soldering and reflow station, wire, all the components you want. Nice. External monitor so you can bring your laptop up. Yep. I have two screens. And then more boxes of random parts. And <laughs> lots of goodies. <laughs> no, I know perfect. I have lots of stuff, but sometimes it's hard knowing where it is when you need it. Yep. <laughs> Always the most difficult part. Now this is a great setup. Everything's right here, right where you need to be working. I love it. You don't have to be running across the shop to work with small electronics. Very cool. Yeah. Are you going to set up the 3D printer again? Um, at some point. <laughs> I, I, to be honest, I haven't needed it for anything recently. Usually I can make do with the laser cutter. I have tons of filament for it, I just haven't been using it. There was a, there was a short time where I was actually I was um, writing the descriptions for a Chinese filament company. Oh, nice! On each of the plastics. So <laughs> they actually they sent me samples of all the different plastics they had. Like to G, nylon, PVA. Like I have actually a, a huge gamut of plastics and I was able to do some test prints and then took photos and showed the comparisons between the parts. Very cool. Um, so yeah, when I actually have a project, I have the materials, I just, <laughs> just haven't been using it lately. Ah, one of these days you will. Yeah. Perfect. The neat thing with the handrails is this is actually a fence post, which is nice and cheap from Home Depot. It's about $9 for a seven and a half foot length. Nice. You can't even buy like some wire for that price per foot. Think about it. No, you can't. <laughs> and randomly in one of my past videos, I inherited a uh, storage locker full of free stuff. Mm -hmm. Included was a milk crate full of random two inch pipe fittings. Oh, perfect. So I'm reusing everything pretty much. Excellent. To uh, build this. It'll make for plenty strong railing. Yeah. We're also going to replace this one with a full length one going in the ceiling to give it even more strength. Yeah. Those two really tie in nicely having the piece coming across. Plus you have room to hang stuff if you want. Where's the fire pole though? Uh, fire pole will be off the left side of the mezzanine. I didn't and, know there was going to be one. <laughs> and then we're probably going to have a zip line from the laser area down to the front door. And then probably another zip line from the house to the garage. So over here we have one of the biggest projects we've ever worked on, and that's the electric steam buggy. That is it's pretty much functional. We just need to do a few uh, tweaks before we get on the road and slap the big orange triangle on the back because apparently there's a bit of a loophole with the Ontario uh, Traffic Act or whatever. Low speed electric vehicles don't need licensing or insurance if they go under 35 kilometers an hour. Basically the same as an e-bike. Perfect. So I gotta double check all the facts for that before we do it, but it sounds like we could move it around the city without the use of the trailer as nice. long as we drive slowly. So that would be pretty fun. Yeah, that would be. So as you can see, I've got my uh, exoskeleton up there on kind of a catwalk, and the plan is down the road, once I have multiple revisions of the exoskeleton, to kind of have them in cases along the wall, just like Tony Stark himself. So that's Mach 1, Mach 2 is in process, I'm sure there's going to be Mach 3, 4, 42, etc, etc. <laughs> so that, that about wraps it up. To all my subscribers, you guys should totally check out makeme.org and uh, Eric William is an ends channel. He's got some awesome stuff. He does a lot more electronics stuff, whereas I'm more mechanical and everything in between. Yeah, everything in between. And uh, we're going to be doing some collaborations in the future, so go subscribe. Thanks very much. For all my subscribers, you guys have got to check out the Hacksmith. I've shown him on lots of my live shows, and uh, I think a lot of your subscribers, if you're not, you should be. Check all this out. Tons of videos, some awesome content, and some great projects. Got to see the exoskeleton, too. Way cool. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, man. That was awesome. Really hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Remember, his channel is linked below in the description. If you're not familiar with it already, remember to subscribe to my channel for more videos coming up. I have a bunch of behind the scenes footage that I'll be publishing uh, upcoming. Some of it will be uh, really behind the scenes and it'll be on my extra series which is available to patrons only. Uh, you can become a patron at the link below, uh, pledge a dollar and you get access to those videos. Really hope you enjoyed this guys, good luck in all your ventures.